And next up, Frostbite Tier 5 Act 2. This we need to freeze 50 zombies with the Frost Blast field upgrade and freeze 5 mimics. This is simple enough. All you need to do is equip, as you can see in the bottom right, the Frost Blast ability. This can be found in your loadout screen and assuming you're high enough level to have this mission, you probably have this unlocked as well. Simply select it and come into a game with it. Now, when you have this, all you need to do is charge it up so we can use it. And in order to do so, simply make your way to probably an Xville to farm up a bunch of zombie kills as quick as possible. Nothing spawned in just yet, but essentially the more zombie kills you get, the faster this charges up. We can also use that same Xville in order to get the first part of this done, which is freeze 50 zombies. It's super simple, and I'll be showing you exactly how to do it as soon as an Xville appears and is relatively close by. For now, we'll just be farming up some well-needed money as we'll be heading into the tier 2 zone because that's where we'll find a high concentration of mimics. Unfortunately, we can't use HVT mimics as they just don't count the same. They are technically unstoppable, so you can't brain rot them, freeze them, or anything like that. You'll need to do it pretty much just by finding them at random. It's not too difficult. You'll find a lot if you just simply drive around the tier 2 zone. Oh, and not to mention, if you somehow find one and you're able to recharge quick enough using a power up that you find dropped off a zombie, you can farm the same mimic just by freezing it over and over again, unlike previously with the brain rot and things like that, you can do it to the same special zombie over and over until you're eventually done. So that's exactly why I'm collecting some cash now, as we'll be using it to pack a bunch of our gun to get around and stay alive in the tier 2 zone. You can also find mimics inside of aether nests and infested fortresses, as a lot of these crates can oftentimes be mimics in disguise. Simply running up to them should get them to pop out and run at you. It's not a high chance, but it is definitely possible. So if you find infested nests, it's probably worthwhile checking them out, if not for the cash, but for possibly the mimic as well. If you're looking to pack a bunch of weapon, you'll need 5 grand for a tier 1 and 10 grand for a tier 2. Weapon mods don't really matter, so you can grab and use whatever you want, as you usually would. And if you find things like this, these will recharge your ability. If we simply gain together a few zombies here and hit our power up button, you'll see that you put down a little whirlwind essentially, and as soon as zombies walk into that, they get frozen. You can also run into a large group of zombies and use that ability too, which should also count as you'll freeze a whole bunch of them. If you head across to an exfil and group together about 50,000 of them, run straight into the center and activate it, you'll find that you get a ton of freezes, if not the entire first half of this mission done in one go. You can see that I've already got 3 out of 50. You can do that in one go and get the entire thing done, as by the time it's finished, you can simply get a ton of zombie kills and your ability will be renewed, ready for you to use it elsewhere, such as on Mimics. It's pretty much a win-win, but of course you'll need to get to an exfil fad. Hopefully we'll find a Mimic inside of here that'll make life a bit easier, but I don't think so sadly. And of course there's a few loot goblins pick up the scraps. Hey, this one was a mimic, so we can freeze it, and just like that, we should now have one out of five. Oh, um, it counted as two. Anyways, I'll take that. That's not bad at all. Anyways, now that we have a pack a punched weapon, all we need to do is just look around the tier two zone until we eventually find a mimic. They're not too difficult to find, but they're usually wandering around in the streets, etc. Grab yourself a vehicle, and you should be fine. Also, with a slow reloading LMG, it's, it's probably also a good idea to get fast hands, wherever that may be. There's quick revive quick revive no nope, i actually can't find fast hands anyways i guess we'll just be wandering around the city until we find a mimic also hopefully a self-revive no i have one okay that's fine why am i leaving the first part of this mission well simply but we can get tons of zombies by the exfil even the final exfil but we can't actually get mimics there that's why it's easy to get the more difficult part done and then move on to the much easier part that we can do even while we're busy leaving okay so for now all you need to do is pretty much just drive around until you find one of these things run close to it hit your key and run away if you'd like you can return to the same mimic and hit your key again if you happen to recharge it in time i think for me i'll be entering an infested stronghold like this as usually i've seen one sometimes two mimics spawning in the same one very quickly not to mention we got two hits off of one last time so that's a pretty cool free bonus not sure if that'll happen again probably not but it's worth a shot anyways seems like we already have one we'll freeze it here and now all that's left to do is to get the heck out of dodge okay so using our one and only self revive let's quickly get rid of these zombies following the mimic and hopefully we can use the ability once more before actually killing the mimic we are three quarters of the way there i'm not entirely sure if we can make it the rest of the way there's a ton of zombies here we should definitely be able to recharge it in time so i hope there we 
go. Let's run up to the Mimic, hit our key, and run away from it. We should also get a bunch of zombie freezes here as well. So now we're on four. Let's try and do that a fifth time. Then we can finally kill the Mimic and move on. Okay, so now we have a Mimic following us and no more zombies. Let's see if we can bait some more by running around the infected building here. Farm them up and get one more Frost Blast off. That'd be perfect. I think we need to destroy some of these in order to bait another one back. So let's do exactly that. Oh, hello, you. Doesn't seem like too many zombies. But maybe we can farm up some more around here. And there's a Mangler too. Not what I wanted at all. Cool, it's ready. We can use it again. And now we can actually just back off. We don't really need to be here anymore. So all we need to do now is make our way to an exfil. So I'll mark this one over here. We can activate it again once farming it up and grouping together a ton of zombies and we'll probably have it done in one, maybe two goes. Let's give it a shot. Now that we're done with the second half, leaving our car here, we'll head straight for the exfil, farm up a handful of zombie kills on our way out, call it in, and as soon as we have our perk activated, so now we'll get together a whole bunch of these things, get them into a tight group, then we'll simply just pop it down and freeze a ton of zombies by baiting them through it. As you can see, we're already at 27, which is huge. All we need to do now is get this thing charged up a second time. And of course, my UI is gone. I assume it'll come back sometime soon. And I think we'll call this thing in again. It should only take about a minute for it to refresh after this thing leaves. I assume it's ready. Let's just bait together a bunch of these, hit X, and yeah, it was sort of ready, but I think we've probably already actually completed this. Don't know how, I think we got it done on the first burst. Yeah, definitely. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.